Oh, hey there, pond people. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Hey pond people, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. I'm standing in our retail store and I've got something super exciting to show you. The small pond, our eight by 11 pond kit is finished. We've totally transformed what used to be two vignettes into one Narnaic, Narnia, whatever you guys wanna call it, but it feels like Narnia to me. Come on and I gotta show you what I'm talking about. incredible stone stairs cut right in through some boulders up to a natural clay paver patio. And as you get up in here, you just see the fullest potential of what a small pond can look like. And it makes me want to actually get rid of my big pond and take this because I just love it. Chris did such an amazing job on the waterfalls. And for a waterfall that's really only about 14 inches taller, not even, like maybe 12 inches taller than grade, look at how many twists and turns there are. And with the simplicity that he's mastered with only one, two, three, four, five, six rocks, look at how much is going on in that small little waterfall. We have roughly a seven foot by nine foot pond. The fish are super happy in here. But look at, as I get in here close, they start moving around a little. Perfect for a pond, what I would call more of a community pond. We have comets, we have some shabunkins and stuff in here. I know we're gonna put some golden orfs in here in a little bit. It's just an awesome, awesome pond. Oh, and then I look over here, and what an awesome addition. Having this spillway bowl added, not just for circulation, but look at how much it changes the way this little pond looks. So for a little bit of extra money, you can have this little spillway on there. And the way that light dances over in here, the little light lighting up the waterfall coming off of that. I feel like I'm talking too fast because it's super exciting to me. I mean, I really think you guys should just take a second and enjoy it for a little bit. And then I'll come back and talk about more of this stuff. So what's hard to get on camera is the ambiance that this pond has over the two ponds that used to be here before. And part of that was the design. What we really wanted to do was make it so when you walked up into this space, you just felt comfortable. So we created this kind of different looking trellis and you'll notice it's not quite finished, but all of these are gonna get custom pieces of art created by employees here at Aquascape. I get to take one of these home this weekend and create whatever I want to on this space. Chris Hansen's gonna take one home, create whatever he wants. Christine from our retail store is gonna take one home. Trevor from our tech department is gonna take one home. Not that we're gonna have a contest, we just wanna give it that Aquascape flair. So I'm taking one of these home this weekend. I'm gonna get started on it. I think I've probably bitten off a little bit more than I could chew. I think I can get it done in a Saturday, but I know it'll probably take me two or three Saturdays to get it exactly the way I want. But we're gonna reveal these at our water garden weekend which you guys have to either come to or make sure you check out the vlog on water garden weekend and you can see our custom hanging pieces of art but by putting this trellis thing and then these unique pieces of art here it really kind of creates this cozy atmosphere so when I'm sitting in this space I can really concentrate on the pond. Not that you guys are gonna do this, but maybe behind your patio, you do some arborvitaes, you do some tall ornamental grasses, something to kind of just screen that off. And then notice the height of the plant material back behind the waterfall. 
The reason we went with such tall plants is because when I sit back like this and I grab my coffee table book off the coffee table, I can sit here and just focus on the waterfall and not the water features that are back past it. Occasionally flip through here and be like, yep, I like my pond better than anything inside this book. Maybe someday Greg will put this pond inside this book for me. And I think this is what it's all about, right? Trying to create that lifestyle that customers know they want but can't feel it themselves. So we really tried to create a lifestyle type feature here inside of our showroom. And I think Chris, the rest of Team Aquascape just absolutely nailed it. It looks so, so good. If you guys wanna see how you can get this put in your backyard, check out our CAC locator. If it's something you wanna tackle yourself, look up that 8x11 pond kit, add some bells and whistles, like we put a slightly larger skimmer on there, we added a slightly larger biofalls, everything can be adapted, or you just build it with exactly what the kit gives you, which is so nice, because everything you need to build that seven by nine, pond is in that 8x11 kit. So there's all kinds of different kits. If one doesn't fit you, there's another one that fits you. So we have some kits that actually come with enhanced filtration. Look for the one with the 400 skimmer. Look for the one with the 2500 biofalls. And if you want to add the bowl, just give our tech department a call or your local distributor call and say, hey, I would like everything I need to add this bowl to my pond. I think what's great about this bowl, you can add it to your existing pond. You could put it on a new project. It's really adaptable to just about any water feature. It's also a standalone item. So if you just wanted the bowl itself and had one bowl spill in another bowl, you could do that. I think that's what's so great about the Aquasky product. All of that stuff is just so interchangeable. So one of my favorite features with this pond is this wall in here. We have a man-made brick material actually inside the liner and it comes up and it's been set just right so my soldier course off my patio can rest on top. That liner came up and underneath, laid on top of this and we were able to get that water level really close to the top of this patio. The other reason I like using that man-made brick inside the pond is because if I tried to use boulders like these to support these bricks, it would be almost impossible trying to get those things perfectly level to allow a rectangular brick to sit on top. This wall was super easy. It doesn't take up a lot of space or real estate in your pond, making our pond feel bigger and bigger and bigger rather than the bulky boulders inside of it. This is probably one of my favorite parts. Next to that waterfall, next to that bowl, next to the organic look, next to the fact that we're still inside of a retail store indoors and this feels like somebody's backyard. You guys tell me your favorite part. Is it the pergola? Is it gonna be the future hanging pieces of art? Is it our magical tree of ears? Or is it the pond and the waterfall and the patio? Maybe it's just a combination of everything together. Hey guys, we do this for one reason. It is to inspire you. I know as more and more people come into this store, we're gonna inspire that many more people to try to put something that can fit into their backyard. Hopefully, we've inspired you guys too. You know the routine. Smash that like button. Send us your comments. Tell all your friends. And we'll keep doing this. Bye.